This is the story of John Ng, a 14-year-old who has dropped out of school and spends most of his days hanging out with his friends, smoking and playing basketball. He lives in a three-room flat with his single dad. His mother unfortunately passed away when he was six due to a heart attack. The house was always in a mess as both of them were seldom at home and no one puts in effort in maintaining the home's cleanliness. His family had never been financially stable. All he does is give him the allowance he needed every day and leaves for work. One day, John and his friends decided to have a game of basketball. Hey, back here! Don't play ball. Yeah, black, yeah. Okay. black and white. white. Ah, you black, you Come white. Come on, play 2v1 ah. Oh, that Hey, lousy. Ah. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, lah. Why so hard? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's play, let's play. Around two days later, John had a sudden sore throat, but he ignored it as he thought it was due to his smoking habit and that it would go away gradually. Not long after, he got a high fever but did not do anything about it other than drinking more water. He went on with his happening lifestyle with his friends and soon realised that his ankles were swollen and painful most of the time. One week passed and John finally could not take the discomfort anymore and told his father about it. Hey boy. I've been sick for a very long really. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay, come down first. Okay, please tell me what's exactly wrong. Uh, I've had sore throat and fever for like a week already, and it hasn't subsided. And I'm getting more and more tired every day, very restless, and just don't feel very well. Uh. And also, my ankle has been swollen for like quite some time. I don't know whether is it due to the ankle sprain I had like a week ago. So can you please help me check also? Okay, um, just a few more questions. May I know if you, your family have any medical history? Uh, my mother in her 60 years old, she has a lot of pain. Okay, um, then do you smoke or drink? Uh, I don't drink but I smoke. Okay, so I think you should cut down on your smoking. Okay, so um, right now, right, your symptoms, uh, according to your symptoms, right, I suspect that you might have rheumatic fever. But don't worry too much first. I'll send you for a full body checkup before I can prescribe you any medication. So um, the results will be out in two to three days. But uh, so right now, you can you just take a rest and rest well. Okay, I'll call you when the results are out. Okay, thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, John. Please take a seat. How are you feeling now? Uh, still the same, uh, no improvement. Okay, I have your results here on my screen. Okay, according to the results here, you have in fact been diagnosed with rheumatic fever. But you are very fortunate that it has not affected your heart valves, which will lead to rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic heart disease is fatal. The bacteria caused by strep throat which was the sore throat that you have experienced earlier, would bind to collagen in the body. Collagen is the main factor to strengthen the heart valves to resist 
against heart high pressures during blood flow. Without enough healthy collagen, the heart valves would weaken and become inflamed and may eventually cease its function, leading to rheumatic heart disease. Okay, so I've prescribed you some medications that you can collect later at the counter. Just make sure you follow the dosage instructions and eat your med medications regularly so you can recover faster. Okay, and do take care of yourself because this, this might relapse. So you have to really take good care of yourself as well. Yeah, and please stop smoking if possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's good for you. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, hello. Ah, the doctor's turn. Ah, um, channel five. Ah, oh, apa hari apa hari sen? Ah, channel five. Ah, uh, speak English. Ah, oh, my name is Doctor Chen. And what if I just watch is a video about John being diagnosed with rheumatic fever and finally being cured by that and being told that he might have a chance of developing rheumatic heart disease. So, what exactly is rheumatic heart disease? What exactly is rheumatic heart? What exactly is rheumatic fever? Very simple. Let me break it down for you. Rheumatic fever is caused by a bacteria called Streptococcus. Streptococcus, when entering your body, adheres to the cells in your body. And what it does that, it causes diseases such as strep throat. And after a period of time, when it's not being treated, it will later bind to the collagen in your body, which is the natural protein found in your body. And you know, when you don't treat it, you will get rheumatic fever because this is caused by the immune system in your body trying to get rid of the bacteria at the same time damaging the collagen inside your body. After a period of time, if rheumatic fever isn't treated, you get rheumatic heart disease. That's it. Very simple, very easy to understand. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is the symptoms of rheumatic fever. Okay. So the symptoms of rheumatic fever includes stomach pain, fever, swollen and especially painful joints such as your ankle, your wrist, etc. etc. And then a lightish leg rash at your abdomen, your chest and your back. And then there are also things such as um, weakness and shortness in breath. So that are the symptoms of rheumatic fever. So it's prior rheumatic heart disease. So if you have any of the symptoms, do take note of it. You might have developed that, okay? So now let's move on to the risk factors. So now let's discuss a few risk factors that might actually cause one to have rheumatic fever. Looking back at the video just now, there are actually several risk factors that John qualifies. There might be a reason to why he has rheumatic fever, okay? The first risk factor is age. People that are between 5 to 15 years old are more prone to developing rheumatic fever. And John happens to be a 14 year old boy, okay? Moving on, the environment that one lives in greatly um, influences the chances of one getting um, infected with rheumatic fever. A dirty place promotes growth of bacteria such as streptococcus. Thus, John who lives in a house where he don't have a mother, he only have a father who always is outside working and do not have money to have a maid to clean the house. So the house tends to be a little bit more dirty, a little bit more dusty. So that is the second risk factor. And then the third risk factor is that even when John is sick, the family didn't really care because the father is too busy. So the father did not realize and John ignored it and that caused more delay and setback to his disease. So it allows and gives the bacteria time to grow in the body and 
is condition to jeopardize. And then lastly, the final risk factor is medical history. His family has the genetics of heart issues. Like his mom, I said in the video, has died due to heart attack. So that being said, he has a more prone chance of getting any diseases, especially rheumatic heart disease. So, yep, that's about it for this video. I hope you have learned something and your health is not a joke, okay? So, yeah, take care and be healthy. Ciao. Sorry, sorry, sorry.